Hello guys, welcome back to Shardlight. We made it to Silas Harrison's manor. So let's have a look around. I won't be able to get inside from here. Decadent. This Harrison guy is clearly doing well for himself. So we have a servant over here. Let's uh, take a look He's at him. He's got quite the artist touch. These topiaries are pretty impressive. I don't think drawing attention to myself is a good idea. So we can't talk to the servant or interact with him in any other way. And there really is nothing else here. There's some windows. I can't do much with the windows from here. Hard to tell from this distance, but it looks like that's the kitchen in there. So we can walk behind the mansion here. So there's an open window up there that moved. Either someone was careless, or they just enjoy a cool breeze. I can't reach it. We also have a row of windows here. This window looks into the kitchen. Let's see if we can open some. Time to do a little peeping. There's a hot pot of coffee brewing here. Huh, it's unlocked. So do a little bit of breaking and entering. There's flour here. I'm no baker. That can stay right where it is. I don't think I'll be needing any more salt right now. So here's a wall rack. A ladle and a wooden spoon. Standard kitchen equipment, I guess. I'm sure no one will notice one missing ladle. Just in case we need to eat any soup. Let's take a look at this ladle. This could come in handy if I decide to start up a soup kitchen. It's a dirty plate. Looks like someone hasn't washed up yet. I'm not the maid. Ah, uh, so it's probably tea, because a uh, kettle and uh, scones here. They look stale. I'd rather not. I was never much of a tea drinker. This a turkey. We must be hungry. Well, if nobody else is gonna eat it. So we can add the uh, stealing mm, to our resume. Dry, but at least it's better than nothing. So we stole a little bit of turkey and a ladle. And there's a pot on the stove also. Hmm, smells good. Looks like tonight's dinner is some kind of soup. Maybe we can use the ladle with that. Mm hmm, tomato. <laughs> Nothing happened though. There's something here, a bill. The bell is just out of reach. Not for a trusty ladle, I think. I shouldn't draw any attention to myself without a good reason. I guess he's right. So let's head back out. Let's see if we can look in the other windows. Let's take a peek over here. So that's the doctor. Good evening, Mr. Harrison. What seems to be the trouble? You know damn well what the trouble is. I've got that blasted plague. Hmm. What symptoms have you been having? Last week, the coughing started. Since then, it's only gotten worse. And yesterday, I hacked up some blood. I've had a fever all of today and haven't felt like eating anything since yesterday. Not to mention, I haven't been able to sleep a wink. Hmm. I see. Have you been in contact recently with anyone showing symptoms of the disease? Well, two weeks ago I was relaxing outside in my yard when some vagrant came by to ask if I could spare any food. Well, naturally I told him I couldn't, but he became belligerent when he heard that and spat in my face. To think, a man of my stature with green lung. I can't imagine the scandal. Green lung doesn't discriminate, Mr. Harrison. It can affect anyone. So can you do anything for me, Doctor? Not to worry. You're in good hands. Your support of the Ministry of Knowledge means you'll receive only the finest care the government can offer. I'm going to give you a dose of vaccine. That should fix you up by morning. But you'll need to get another dose in about a month's time. 
Why can't you eggheads at the Ministry of Medicine get off your collective asses and develop a cure already? We're trying, believe me. This isn't an easy disease to cure, but the treatment works almost instantly. You'll see. So I'm stuck getting this injection once a month for the rest of my life? I'm afraid so, although I'm sure you'll agree that it beats the alternative. Mm, yes, well, that is true. I could be dying in the streets like those filthy mongrels in the quarantine zone. Yes, with the monthly injection, you won't have to worry about entering the terminal phase. Let's not think about that. A dreadful business, really. Let's focus on my treatment. Of course. Just hold still a moment. There we go. You should feel like a new man in just a few hours. I'm going to leave an appointment card here for you. Just bring it to the Ministry of Medicine when you're due for your next vaccine dose. Can't I send my servant to get it for me and bring it back here? The green lung vaccine is a valuable commodity, Mr. Harrison. We don't release it to just anyone. So can't you just come back and shoot me up when it's time? I don't want to have to go all that way. We'll see. I know you've curried favor with the aristocracy, but I'll leave the card here just in case. Oh, and I'll leave a little something with your butler to help you sleep. But give the vaccine a few minutes to circulate before you take it. Oh, thank you, Doctor. I appreciate it. Think nothing of it. Feel better, Mr. Harrison. Hmm. That card is my ticket into the Ministry. But how am I supposed to get it? Damn, where is that confounded servant of mine? So Harrison just rang the bell, I guess that goes to the kitchen. And we need to get that card, but we can't get in the window right now when he's there. And he's not sleeping. The window's not locked, but I can't open it while Harrison is awake. So let's head back out. I can't get up there in any way. So let's head back to the front of the manor and see if the doctor is leaving. He was going to give something to the butler. Who's cutting the tree there? I've given him a dose of vaccine. He should be back to normal by tomorrow. Oh, joy. I'm so relieved. If it's any help, I have some sleeping pills for him. He should be ready to take them shortly. Good. At least that'll give me some more peace for a while. Soon enough, he'll start ringing that damn bell for everything again. Well, I wish you luck. I need to head back to the Ministry now. Thank you, Doctor. Have a nice evening. You too. So let's head back into the kitchen here and see if we can ring the bell now. Bill just rang. And right, now we can open this window here on the left. Let's try the ladle. So that worked out. So now he's coming in. And so it begins. So let's get out of the window here before he comes in. in the window over here, see what happens. You rang for me, sir? About ten minutes ago? What on earth took you so long? I was... Never mind the excuses. Just give me one of those sleeping pills the doctor gave you. Yes, sir. Will you be wanting it with your usual lemon and elderberry tea? That's fine. Then, if you'll excuse me, I'll return shortly. Finally. I thought he'd never get to sleep. Quietly now. Let's just jump in and grab that ticket. 
I'm stealing an old man's only means of getting more vaccine. I really hope there's something in the ministry worth finding, Danton. He may be a crotchety old geezer, but I can't help but feel sorry for him. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here we can do. That kind of looks like a funeral urn. Let's just jump out again. We have what we came for. No. <clears throat> no, please. <gasps> of all the times. Yeah, what? Uh, who's there? Shit! Ophelia? Is that you? They, they told me you were dead. Oh, my dear Ophelia, come back to take care of me while I'm sick. I knew you would. Ophelia? Are you there, my love? Ah. So luckily he's lost the haze from the medicine. So let's just jump out the window <laughs> and move along. That was a little too close. So let's head to the Ministry of Medicine, now that we have this card. Let's just take a look at the card. This card says that Silas Harrison is entitled to an evaluation with a Dr. Elliot Collins. Just try and give it to the guard here. The appointment card is for Silas Harrison, and I'm obviously not him. Alright, we have to fix that. I'm not sure how I can use those things together. So let's go find Denby. He did say in our first conversation that he likes to forge signatures. He's at the Centrix factory. Just had to come back, huh? Eh, I keep you around for some things. <laughs> I'll knock it off, Amy. You sound almost happy to see me. So let's just see if he has something new to say first. Hey, Denby? Yeah? I'll just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Thanks. I guess not, so let's just give him this card, see what happens. Denby, you mentioned before you were good at copying handwriting. Yeah, sure. Do you think you could copy this doctor's writing? Shouldn't be a problem. What do you need me to do? Change the name on this card to mine. Oh, yeah, easy. Just give me two minutes. There you go. Hey, nice job. Thanks. This card says that I'm entitled to an evaluation with a Dr. Elliot Collins. So let's head back to the Ministry of Medicine and see if we can get in now. Don't get into any trouble, Denby. I just forged a government document for you, Amy. I think that's kind of impossible now. Hopefully we can get in now. Excuse me. What is it, citizen? I'm here to see Dr. Collins. Is that so? I assume you have an appointment? Yes, I I've got my card right here. So you do? All right, I'll open the door for you. You'll be checked in and directed to his office. Enjoy your day, and I hope you feel better. Thanks. Good job, Denby. Let's go into the Ministry of Medicine. Here goes nothing. Hopefully we can grab a vaccine in there. Uh, hello miss. May I help you? 
I've got an appointment with Dr. Collins. I see. Is there a problem? Ah, uh, well, how can I put this kindly? You don't exactly look like our normal type of visitor. What does that mean? It's just the way you're dressed. It's not typical of the people we normally see here. How exactly did you get your appointment, if I may ask? Oh, uh... <laughs> Tell the truth, lie, or give the password. Um, let's just try this first. I guess it's because I've got the perfect life. See if he's part of the resistance. What? Is Danton stupid? Didn't she at least tell you to get a disguise? Well, she did, actually, but I found a better way. You do realize how much you stand out, right? If you try and see the doctor looking like that, they'll call security and have you escorted out. Then they'll start asking me questions about why I let you in, and things will only escalate from there. So, any ideas on how I can get a disguise? I'll have to think about it. Just don't go any further into the ministry until we figure something out. All right, guys, we need a disguise to get in to see the doctor. We'll look into getting that in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.